let's take a moment and talk about the Tools section in Hike Central Control Client. The Tools section from My Dashboard is located almost all the way over on the right hand side next to the Management section. Under the Tools section, there are several subsections including SmartWall, VS Player, Broadcast, Alarm Output Control, and Two Way Audio. Let's start at the top of the list with SmartWall. Now it's important to note that in order to have this section, you would have already added a smart wall to your system via Hike Central's web client or the administrative tool. And certainly you would have to have the hardware to support smart wall operation. In Control Client, you have the ability to manipulate the smart wall to set up different sections, different splits, roaming windows, etc. through this interface. But notice that you don't actually get to see video through the smart wall representation that you see here on the screen right now. However, if I do select a particular tile or monitor within this smart wall, then that video will be displayed in the lower portion of the screen so that I have an idea of what camera I've actually put there. There are many different features in this smart wall configuration area. Too much for this tools video that we're doing right now. Just wanted to give you an idea of where this was located at and for detailed instructions, be sure to watch the video tutorial on smart walls. Once you're done in the smart wall area, you can go ahead and close this out by clicking on the X in the upper right hand corner. The next item that we're going to take a look at is VS Player. VS Player is the player that we use to review video that we have already exported and have locally that we can play back on our local machine or potentially share with someone else. VS Player is a feature-rich playback device that allows me to play one or many cameras back at the same time. At this time, we're not going to go through all of the steps and all of the different sections of VS Player. Just wanted to show you where you could quickly launch it from in the Tools section. And for detailed instructions on VS Player, while we're here right now, let's take a look at this icon which says Main Menu. And if I click on this, it gives me the ability to open the user manual for VS Player, which is a PDF file. Once that user manual is opened, you can go ahead and expand the table of contents and see that it's broken down into three chapters. You can expand each chapter into the subsections. And then if there's a particular item that you're looking for, such as adding the video files, you can simply click on that and it will take you directly to that section. VS Player is really quite intuitive and with just a few minutes of practice I'm sure that you'll master it on your own but the manual is here if you do need it. To close VS Player just go ahead and click on the X in the upper right hand corner. The next section under tools is broadcast. Broadcast is basically one to many or one to all. For us we have the ability to broadcast audio from our control client microphone to one, many, or all of our audio devices throughout our Hike Central system that in essence have an audio output or a speaker available. You can choose devices one by one by clicking on start broadcast or you could click on open all and it will open a connection to all available devices. Once you're done with your broadcast we can go ahead and click on close all and that will close the broadcast. Again understanding that this is a one to many or one to all depending whether you choose manually or you choose to open all those devices. Simply by speaking into your microphone, that would then be heard from the speakers of those different audio devices in the field. This could be a very powerful tool, for instance, during an emergency situation or an active shooter situation, etc., where you need to get information out to every single audio device that you have throughout your system, or even a subset. Once you're done with broadcast, just like our other sections, you can close it by clicking on the X in the upper right hand corner. The next item is Alarm Output Control. So in this case, you have the ability to manually control the alarm output from any device, be it an IP camera, encoder, NVR, DVR, whatever has an alarm output on it. By simply selecting a device from the device list, I find that this device does have alarm output one and alarm output two, and I can go ahead and put them into an open state or the opposite of their current state. 
which could be turning on some specific device out in the field. Now, obviously, it's very important that you know what that device is, and you'd probably do that by renaming the alarm output name to something more useful so that you understand exactly what it is that you're controlling. Once you're done in this section, we well, can go ahead and close this or return those devices back to their original state and then close the program out by clicking on the X in the upper right hand corner. And last but not least, we have two-way audio. Two-way audio is exactly what it says. It's the ability for you as a control client operator to speak to a audio output device out in the field. And if there's also a microphone at that location, then you would be able to hear back the audio from that location. So bi-directional or two-way audio. You're going to start by selecting the camera that you'd like to connect to. In this case, I'm gonna scroll down the screen to a device that I know has audio capability on my demo NVR, and I'm gonna select this camera. Then I'm gonna choose two-way audio and click OK. That will create a connection here, which I can go ahead now and I can click Start to start the two-way audio connection. Along with that, I can adjust the volume level of the microphone or the speaker while I have this audio connection turned on. Once I have finished this connection, I'm gonna go ahead and click on stop. And then finally to turn two-way audio completely off, I can go ahead and click on the red X. That's just a quick overview of what's available to you here in the tools section. Again, for specific information on any of these five areas. You can refer to the Hike Central Control Client user manual, or in the case of VS Player, it has its own user manual as well.